president came in, the, one of the first decision the administration took was uh, removal of uh, first subsidy, and then he made a promise of uh, uh, promoting CNG in Nigeria, and that led to the creation of a program. That led to the creation of program known as a uh, presidential initiative, that is PCNGI, okay. that is Presidential CNG, that is Compressed National Gas Initiative. And the initiatives have been on promoting the use or adaptation of compressed national gas as a means of powering vehicles. Not only vehicles can power a lot of things. Uh, CNG can power generator, it can even power, we can use it as source of energy. So promoting it is, is a very good thing for Nigeria because it's not only going to, to reduce our dependence on importation of oil, it's going to also lead to creation of employment and then it's, it's, it's going to revitalize the economy. So later on, at last week or so, the presidential gave the directive because he, the administration is promoting CNG, gave the director to the MDAs that further procurement of vehicles to be CNG. So, and that's the background to, to what the president did. And we are aware that it may get to that, and now it's, it's, it's here with us. We need to encourage the adoption of CNG. And Mr. President, thank you for him that he's leading, the, he's, he's leading by example. But what's the role of your uh, agency in all of this? Okay, the, the NADDC has the responsibility, the mandate to regulate and promote uh, auto, auto in Nigeria, that is automotive industry in Nigeria. And now, if that is the case, as the case may be, we have the, 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 the authority to support whoever is producing this. And our, our members, we license a lot of companies that can produce or convert CNG. So what we have done is try to, to bring all the stakeholders together to let them understand what the government is trying to do, number one, and how can we respond to that, to that because it's like government is trying to challenge onto the, the auto makers in Nigeria and then we have to respond. What we do what we are doing first is to get make sure that we accredit all the the, the uh, workshop that want to convert already existing ICE uh, uh, PMS ICE to uh, CNG ICE and again to those assemblers to also encourage them to start assembling CNG direct because most of them before now we produce or we assemble in Nigeria uh, ICE that's powered by a PMS or AGO but now we are encouraging them and everybody most of the assembler in Nigeria they are up to the tax most of them have started uh, assembling uh, CNG vehicles so that's the role we play so we try again we try to make sure that uh, Everybody, while doing the conversion, you follow the standard because safety is number one when it comes to auto. And we have to make sure that everyone involved follow the standard because there is always a standard for whatever you're doing, in, not only in auto industry, everywhere, but specifically for CNG. So we work first of all with all the other stakeholder government agencies, many of them, and we came up with a, a standard with SON release. Uh, over 50 standards on conversion, use, storage, of uh, maintenance of ICE, uh, CNG vehicles. So we've done a lot in that respect. So what we are doing now is to make sure that whoever is going to convert, whoever is going to manage that process, follow the lay down rules and make sure that everything is done according to the standard.